so next up, we've got Lynn, Ian, Chris, and Dennis, I believe. I'm Lynn Craig, and I've, I live here in Starbridge with Chris and Dennis and David, who's not here today, and of course with Ian, my husband. And we've been in shared lives since the late 80s. So I've been a shared lives carer for over 35 years. Chris, would you like to introduce yourself? Chris, Chris, I'm Chris, Sorry. I'm Chris. Dennis, would you like to introduce yourself? Well, yeah. I'm me. Yeah. I know two, 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 two clubs. He goes to two clubs. And, 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 and again, um, it's, it's Jenny, isn't it, who runs it? She puts entertainment on, doesn't yeah. she? Yeah. Like you have a singer. Because you really like singing, yeah. don't you? Ava. Ava, yeah. Uh, you and Ian have awesome. carpool karaoke, don't you, on we the way? Yeah, we're team Ava, aren't we? Dancing queen. <laughs> yeah. And your favourite. My favourite, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have a good old sing song yeah, don't we, in the car. Yeah. You don't, do you mind me telling yeah, Phoebe how old yeah. Dennis is 78 now. So, so Dennis, yeah, you, you've seen a few changes yeah, yeah, yeah. in your time. So, which club, which group did you make this at? Probably. So, this is the one you go to on a Tuesday. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes. So, these are all the other people yes. show on a Tuesday? That's the only other girl down now that well. Okay. No, I've met on the first went there. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going now. We well, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know where we're at well. And what are the stickers around the outside of the frame? They're lovely. What, what they put on. So they could put on if you wanted to do it. And you, yeah. you chose those. Yes. Yeah. What Excellent. did you choose? Let's have a look. Tell Phoebe what's what's on the stickers. Must be elephants. Elephants. That must be a star. Mm -hmm. Different things. What, what are they? Cake. Cake, yeah, cake. Different things. Cake. Well, yes, different. Food has a number one priority in this house. <laughs> yeah. I think my message to the minister would be to ensure that his departments ensure that there's a degree of fairness amongst how services are delivered. Because the one thing that, that is a prerequisite for us is that we have to be on care. We have to. This is our life. This is what we do. We would like to, that to be reciprocated from the various departments, that they don't just pull the plug when it suits them. There has to be a degree of fairness. Somebody has to hear their voice. I, I was a, a qualified social worker for nearly 30 years. I went into thousands of people's houses. I had to listen to thousands of people's stories. And, and the important thing is you have to hear their voice because. If you don't, then we're just going back. We're pushing it all back and, and, and not, not serving them. And that's the important thing the minister has to hear, is that he's there to serve. And we, we need to feel as though we are being justly and fairly sort of um, viewed. It's an empathy, isn't it? Yeah. We want somebody to empathise with the scheme, yeah. understand what it has to offer yeah. and recognise the potential that it has yeah. without the backing of the councils and local yeah. government. You know, shared lives won't be able to branch out into new areas and that, yeah. would, that would be a shame because the way it operates, being so unique in its matching process and everything, yeah. People could end up with a bespoke service because one size doesn't fit all. Everybody's needs are different. And Shared Lives is so diverse with the families that want to offer support. So many needs could be covered. I am excited by the projects that Shared Lives is thinking about moving forward. That does excite me and I just hope that I have the time and the energy to really get involved because I would like to. But of course, our daytime routine is so busy. It's always a balancing act to have a little break for ourselves, make sure that we're 
we're supporting David yeah, Dennis yeah. and Chris mm. in the best way we can, but then being able to be involved in future projects because mm. they do they do excite me. They do. Thank you. Another inspiring video. Great, great to see. Um, Lynn, I'm going to come to you if it's okay. Um, you talk in the video about um, giving people a voice. Um, uh, uh, you talk about um, the importance of people having a voice. Um, how, how do we how do we ensure that the voice of, of carers and people that you support is heard more loudly uh, nationally? Do you think any ideas on that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think good a good relationship with with the team and getting involved, and also the carer forums help as well because it it gives everybody a voice within the support network that can then take those concerns to the team that can be then put onto shared lives, fed through sh shared lives itself, shared lives plus reach the councils and that but it's it's working together really and working closely with the team and here's what working with other oh, okay. oh, there we go we're back there, go. there we go don't so worry these things happen um sorry carry on lynn i think you were finishing off your yeah i was just saying that i think it's it's working together with other carers working with our peers talking about what issues are important to us, feeding that back through the Care Forum to the to CVT, to our Shared Lives teams, and then when we need to, co-opting the health of Shared Lives Plus and hoping that gets fed through. But it's it's working together as a team with the other carers that's, mm -hmm. that's really important, peer support and yeah. knowing what issues, because we're all so different. People's issues mm -hmm. are different, so and, and our voices do need to be heard because we're responsible for the people that we support and, and, and their needs, and we want to meet them in the best possible way. We need to work with other teams. We need to work with social workers. You know, we need a really good network working to see that everybody is, is being enabled. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And nationally, we're trying to do more to amplify the voice of of, of carers and people who draw on shared lives so thank you for that uh, Ian you also mentioned um, fairness I think this is a very critical issue at the moment what what do you think needs to be addressed to, to make this uh, to make the system fairer to make shared lives fairer yeah. or access to fair life yeah well being part of shared lives since the 1980s it consolidated a, a way of of communal living for Lynn and I that we'd started a few years earlier Shared Lives has been with us every step of that journey. And more recently, the collaboration with Camp Hill Village Trust has renewed our, uh, our belief that sharing our lives has been the right thing to do for us and our children who are now all adults, all of whom benefit from the, the philosophy of sharing and caring. And we believe that fairness is the bedrock of what we do. And over the last three years, we've struggled in the face of great adversity to obtain anything like fairness from our local social services, who, when we needed them the most, simply disappeared and left us and CVT to fend for ourselves. It is only in the last few months, with support from Shared Lives and CVT, that we've had sporadic contact with local services and the promise of care reviews, which are absolutely fundamental to the lives of Chris and David and Dennis. Um, and we feel that really in conclusion, we hope that our contribution to this conference demonstrates how important it is to treat people fairly. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. That's really powerful. Thank you. Um, so on a, on a on a fun note, though, I, I hear you've been out on day trips. Um, yes, I think we're yes. seeing some photos. Tell us a bit about what you get up to together. What, what, do you like, what holidays do you like going on? Blackpool. Blackpool, yes, we went to Blackpool. Where have you enjoyed going, Chris? Blackpool. But you like Blackpool as well. Yeah. And you've been on holiday this year as well. Yeah. Burnham by the yeah. Sea. Yeah, yeah, Burnham on yeah. Sea. That's that's been good, hasn't it? Yeah. Hiya. 
Hi, Tobay. Tobay, yeah. yeah. Where did you go this year, Chris? You went to the Highland Games, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Can you remember where that was? Not sure. That was Scotland. So you went to Scotland <laughs> that day, cool. didn't you? Mm. Yeah. Brilliant. Did you enjoy it? Good. Yeah. Thank you. Wonderful. Um, so we do need to to move on. Um, so thank you very much for that. Um, so one one question has just come in actually from from the audience, and I think it's an important question about what we need to do um, uh, nationally to to address the issue of of cost of living. I just wanted to say that um, there's a number of things that we're trying to do at Shared Lives Plus. We've, we've written to the ministers in, in, in each of the nations trying to meet them to discuss how shared living can be very much part of any national policy, national funding uh, initiatives to, to improve social care. So make sure they're not forgotten as we're trying to meet with ministers. But we've also got a programme, a campaign called Invaluable. We're writing to local authorities about making sure that rewards are fair, that people are supported as much as they possibly can be during the, the year to come. So we are we are trying to do more. If you've got ideas, um, please do come and give us give us those ideas, and we're we're very keen to do as much as we possibly can on cost of living.